Did you see this? Oh, that's that's a good sign right there. All right, so we found this natural lean-to here. Can't zoom out anymore, but Brad's here gonna show how you could use this object that we found in nature here as a natural shelter. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Pretty big. You get in there and get out of the. Get out of the rain. And uh, yeah, there's a little opening right here, but you could throw some boughs over that and seal it up pretty watertight, and uh, maybe seal up one of the entrances. And uh, it looks like too, there's like a shelf here. Yeah. You can actually like probably lay on this shelf and. Lay or lay, start a fire on there. Yeah, or start a fire on the shelf. And uh, and then the, the Keep other warm. chamber would be more like a cold sink. So it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can stick my head out the top here. Now right here. So we get to know if we ever get caught out here. So being is how we're heading to a place called Greenbrier Pinnacle, I think that is it. And seeing this from the ridge reminds me of all the Indiana Jones movies that I grew up with and how, you know, you take something like that and I can just see it becoming the paramount symbol at the beginning of the beginning of the movie. So it's pretty cool, just a neat little, neat little tidbit. But uh, it's always nice to get a to get a view from far away of where you know you're going to end up. Okay, so we just came up a very muddy, very steep, very tiring hillside, um, and now it's flattened out again. And uh, it looks to me, Brad, like uh, that looks like exactly where we were last weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Aside from our little detour through Hell's Den or Devil's Den, we're right back where we were last last year or last or <laughs> semester. Was. What? Last Saturday. Last Saturday. That's so it turns out we did in find. It appears that we did in find climb the cat stairs, and we did get we to did the top of them. But we just took the shorter, but even more off trail route. Yeah. Than this path that kind of circuits around the uh, around the bend. Right. So. so. Uh, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel better. That, yeah. that we weren't, that we, you know, our our idea of going off the beaten path even worked out last time. So. Yeah. Your manhood is redeemed? Our manhood is our redeemed. Our manhood is That's redeemed. awesome. I mean, so. not that. Although, not you that. know, we As, as if it was ever totally questionable. That we just did, so. so Monica and Rob are climbing the cat stairs right now. <laughs> it's a lot wetter today because of the rain. But uh, at least we, at least we know what's coming. And this is where I drank from moss last time when we ran out of water and we're coming down this. Coming down is a lot faster. Look at that. We are high up in the mountains. Oh, this is just gorgeous. It makes all the hard work worth it. It's everything we did. <sighs> so much better when you see a view like this no matter how many times you get lost or no matter what you experience out here as far as getting your hands dirty in the mud or climbing up steep slopes being out of breath being hungry being thirsty it's all worth it for this the winds blowing hard the rain's drizzling i'm completely exposed i can look thousands thousands of feet, miles, miles, miles across the Smokies. I can see all these other mountains of just various shades of gray in the water vapor and just the floor of the valley. And of all the mountains, I've, I've climbed a lot of mountains. And this, this definitely ranks within the top 10 of views I've ever seen. It's amazing that it's such a wet, rainy day and yet the visibility so good. This is like something out of a painting. And, uh, climbing out here on this rock was a little bit scary, especially with the wind. Climbing out here was made me a little bit, a little bit nervous. But uh, when I see a spot like this, I just have to get to it. It's all about just being careful and taking your time. And now I'm gonna climb back. So Rob, is it just as good the second time? Oh, it's different. Same lovable path. <laughs> Different color. Yeah, same. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least a real mountain man like myself has a problem with it. Oh, yeah, totally. The simple stuff. I mean, honestly, I should be carrying you too. The same way. I mean, I've seen, uh, seen, uh, Escalators that were harder than this. Yeah. And this is the Roto Tunnel, which is listed in the guidebook as basically a hands and knees crawl, but yeah, you can do it if you just stay low. A gusting wind. It does provide us some protection from the wind and the elements, which is nice. But uh, this is where Rob and I last time got snagged on a lot of stuff. So the trail is really tight. And really narrow, so we just gotta be careful, especially in my big hat. Okay, so we found this big cave. And this is pretty cool. This is like the only dry ground we've seen all day, which is back up under this cave. Well, it's not really a cave, it's just like an overhanging rock. It's not a cave in the sense that Rob and I will be in it for two hours. Wow! We're on our way down from the Greenbrier Pinnacle. Ran into this wonderful little cascading stream here. Get running all back through here. It's gorgeous. All these moss covered rocks over here. We're almost out. Alright, so we're back on the established trail system finally. And uh, we obviously found this. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Okay, so as it's close to the Easter season uh, and they're selling Cadbury eggs, I brought three caramel Cadbury eggs for each of us. And this is what they look like. One for each of us. One, one for each three of us. Total. That's right, three total, one for each of us. That's sort of like a toast to our success. So I think this is a good tradition to have when you're hiking. So, yum, yum.